I've been picking up rocks and dirt since I was a little kid. The defining moment for me was when I went from landscape design to little tiny expensive rocks that make beautiful things. <laughs> I started making jewelry probably about eight years ago. Just very simple things, making them for myself or for gifts. And then I realized I was hooked. I had to keep doing this. I love having the right tool for the job. As a gardener, that's always a really important thing. And so I went, oh, I'm gonna like tools for this too, but my tools got tinier and tinier and more specific. I have a collection of tools now for making jewelry that is just beyond anything I thought I would have. I love my hammers because forging is a fun thing to do. You can take out all your aggressions on a piece of metal and just mold it to whatever it is you want it to be. What's real important to know about rhodochrosite is it is called the love stone. And it is very popular in Colorado because of its cherry to pink color. And of course, I chose that particular stone because it makes a great statement for the Valentine holiday, which this show is going to be up during that holiday. It's just a fascinating story about how rhodochrosite, which has been mined in Alma, Colorado, at the Sweet Home Mine, which is closed now, um, it's been available, but in very small supplies. So for me to actually have some and find some that I could use for jewelry was really important for me. You know, you. You grow up, you evolve uh, as a maker, which I've been all my life. I learned to be a maker as a child. And my mother taught me, you know, if you can't afford to buy it, you can make it yourself. So that attitude has just followed me throughout my life. If there's something that I really want to do, I have to learn about it. I have to take the time to understand what it takes, find the right tools, and then proceed to learn and evolve and take a journey wherever you're going to doing something.